Meet Victor. He's married with two daughters, now both in university. In a year's time, I've done a lot of stuff that I would have never attempted to do on my own. But I think it's because of the support that you can get from the members and the staff. Victor was a house husband long before the term was common. He cooked, he cleaned, he did the yard work, and he looked after his children, all while his wife worked outside of the home, which caused her endless worry, never knowing what she would come home to. Oh, do I, I have to call the ambulance? Do I have to uh, call the police? Is he going to be okay? Is he on the floor having a seizure? He was sl sleeping for so many years in this comatose state. The reason? Victor suffers from a mental illness. He's one of the statistics. One in five Albertans will be hospitalized at some point in their lifetime because of a mental illness like depression, schizophrenia, bipolar disorders, or attention deficit problems. Unless you've had a, a mental illness or any kind of major disability, you don't realize the, what's, what's been stolen from you. What's being stolen are things like self-esteem, dignity, and dreams. Well, no one knows the pain that courses through your brain. Your illness leaves no scars that you can show. And Victor is when not alone. No one in our family has a mental illness, so nobody knew what was going on. I was going to work and I was crying all the time. This is Lindsay. She was a secretary under a lot of stress when she was diagnosed with depression. Being a uh, secretary and a computer programmer, you're very logical. You, you know, you have to multitask. So you're used to living in a very logical, organized fashion. All of a sudden I'm waking up and I can't, I don't feel like working. I, I can't even make myself go to work. I never left my house. Uh, my family did pretty well, didn't even know what was going on with me. They wouldn't see me for days. The stigma and the shame Sometimes you dare not speak the name What has made you so ill? Hi, little bear. How are you? Good, thanks. Victor and Lindsay are among the hundreds of people coping with a mental illness that found Potential Place, a clubhouse in downtown Calgary. The Clubhouse organization started in New York in 1950. It was founded by a group of people coping themselves with a mental illness. They used to meet on the steps of a downtown library, and from there, the organization grew. Now, it's in over 300 countries around the world, giving those diagnosed with a mental illness their dignity, their self-esteem, and their dreams. So you're a part of a community that's supportive. Out there, you're part of a community that doesn't understand. It made a real difference in my life. Um, it uh, made me feel better about myself. I'm isolated at home and uh, I come out every day to Clubhouse as a place to come. Instead of walking around, I guess, around the city or doing something, I guess this is where I, f I found some work. About a month ago I thought I was going to have to go back into the hospital. I was having an emotional breakdown and I came here and everybody here worked so closely with me and, and they understood even though I didn't understand and I ended up not going to the hospital, I ended up, I'm fine. I'm ready to go back to work now and it's only been a couple of weeks and I just bounced back just like that and I, I experienced the magic of Clubhouse. It uh, cuts down on the uh, amount of time people spend in the hospital by having such a resource such as this, it cuts down the expenses of uh, health costs. It encourages people with a mental illness to be mentally well. It gives them support and hope. We can give you hope. We'll find a way to help you go. When those voices in your head get too loud. It'll Now I, I feel like uh, I can contribute. 
potential place is a place for me to go and feel there I can fit in. It's uh, good for your ego, I guess. And my life is getting better. It's getting a lot better. I call the clubhouse a Shangri-La. It gives people a chance to uh, spread their wings. Um, some people mention that it's like a launching pad. I have my own catering business now and I've been doing it for two years. Yeah. And it's a success. Yeah, I'm making money. <laughs> When you get a minute, cause, uh, I just know somehow that some days are getting for, uh, better, but I don't go, wow, look at how far I've come <laughs> after two years. I look at every day's little accomplishments. That's what, that makes the big picture. It's changed my life tremendously. Um, I have a place now that I feel very comfortable coming to and there is no stigma attached here. Like everyone is a person and everyone, everyone here has a mental illness. You're not being criticized and judged constantly. That's, that's the clubhouse magic. He's finding self-worth in himself and he's just, oh it's just awesome. I'm just so excited about it, yeah. I can't say enough good things. <laughs>